This is Twit. So this is a very unusual code name pick of the week. It's a fake code name. Um, and there's a story Liar. behind it. I don't know if I ever told Paul this story or not. I can't remember I don't think if I so. did. Um, so I've always been somebody who chases Microsoft code names, and some people think that's cute, and some people think that's <laughs> awful. Um, you know, it's it weird. Cute. There's I always someone cute. who thinks something's cute, and someone who I thinks fall something's on the awful cute side of that. Everything. Debate. Yeah, I think, I think it's fun. That's the word I would. Use yeah, for it. I think it's fun too, and I think. It gives people something to think about, right? And and it also gives us as reporters a way to kind of track things as it moves through the pipeline. Well, there were back when I worked for PC Week, which became E Week, there were some people at Microsoft who were very angry that I used to unearth their code names all the time. Uh. And so as revenge, after a night of drinking, a group of them together created a fake code name and they planted it to try to get me to write about it to see if they what? could trick me. Yeah. So this is incredible. They, they created a code name called BOA, B-O-A, and they wanted me to think it was something, something object architecture or something like that. And they started putting hints around to see if they could trick me into writing about it. So the reason I'm talking about this code name today is one of the people who was a mastermind of this fake code name recently left Microsoft and I still like him, even though he tried to trick me. I like him a lot. And um, are you going to tell I, us who I, it is? Yes, I'm. Okay. I'm going to tell you who it is. Don Box, um, yep, who's yep. a longtime Microsoft employee. He was at Microsoft for 19 years. He's known by many as one of the uh, four authors of the Soap Spec. Um, oh, he's he, one of two people on Earth that understands Calm, for one thing. Yep, like Calm literally. is love. He used to always yep. say, calm is love. He's the, wrong, by the way. But yeah, yep. no, he's a genius. Um, <clears throat> he also uh, was very instrumental in things like the M modeling language. That was a code name I also broke. Maybe, and that was after he tried to give me the fake code name. Um, <laughs> Quadrant, the modeling environment. WCF, code named Indigo. So Don, yeah. Don Box has been there forever. And then he kind of disappeared off our radar. And we found out later, the reason we didn't know what he was doing was he was working secretly on the mixed reality team on HoloLens and uh -huh. on Microsoft Mesh and the Xbox One operating system before any of those things were announced. So he was working on all of those projects and he, could, and he couldn't tell us what he was doing, obviously. Can you, can you um, tell us? So you never did fall for this. Is that right? No. Um, somebody warned me. It was funny. I was at a party and somebody came up to me at the party and said, if you hear about anything about Boa, don't write about it. It's fake. It's a fake code name and they're trying to trick you. Oh, so, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love so this. Yeah. And there was a lot of intrigue in those days. We don't have as much fun anymore, I feel like. I don't know why. Um, but Don, so Don Box posts on Facebook on April Fool's evening that he's leaving Microsoft and he's going to go to some unnamed gig starting in May, uh, May 3rd. And so my first thought was, oh, man, he's mm -hmm. putting this out there to see if anybody bites and it's an April Fool's joke, right? And so I, I had to, like, work to verify that he actually had left before I could write about him leaving. Uh, so I don't know where he's going. He, I know he's very enamored with Rust right now. We talked yeah. about Rust earlier. Go figure. Um, so yeah, I, it's going to be interesting to see where he resurfaces and hopefully wherever it is, he won't try to put another fake <laughs> in. John Box is the best. And, and I, I, best. I find it a little <laughs> odd that he's not saying where he's going, you know? I know, I know. Such a good yep. guy. Yep. Boa. So yeah, Boa. my code name is a fake code name. Boa. Boa I love that. The code name. You should, get a, you should Photoshop a picture of you with a giant snake and send it to him so he can put it up I on the office God, wall. That would be hilarious. No, he felt bad about it afterwards. I heard from somebody he was, and he actually asked my forgiveness. Um, for It's weird sorry. because many of the ideas <laughs> I have over alcohol are excellent. I'm surprised he... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of wild. Didn't have that experience. Anytime I come up with a plan while it's Yeah, it's always the best. Yeah. I know. All those purchases <laughs> I make while intoxicated, all good ideas. You know what? I, no matter what he did right. around that, it doesn't matter because he was always so gracious and helpful and yeah. always gave me interviews and tried to help me understand really complicated things like soap and rust and M. So I, I'm still very- I've read his book on, on calm books. about a million times. I still have no idea what he's talking about, <laughs> but he's clearly under, he clearly understands it. Yeah. 
Um, Micah, you'll like you'll like this little Don Box story too. He 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 loved to make key, keynotes about really boring things exciting. Mm -hmm. So one of his most famous keynotes at, at a tech ed, I think, in Europe, he was talking about soap and um he actually gave the keynote from in a real bathtub um with soap <laughs> bubbles. He yeah. also this is the guy from Bill two thousand three who Microsoft wanted to hire Miguel de Casa, <laughs> and they did oh, eventually, man. but it took, it was like 15 yeah. years later, 10 yeah. years later, whatever it was, long time. It didn't work this time, but he <laughs> sang, um, he was in a like a Beatles cover band or whatever, or yep. it, it, in fact, maybe you remember their name. It was something. I know. I can't remember their name now, but yeah. It, you know, like in the same way that .NET Rocks is kind of, it, it had that kind of yeah. a name, um, but anyway, they were great. I mean, really talented musicians, but he yeah. sang a version of uh, the song Michelle by the Beatles, but with the words... You know, Miguel. about Microsoft and the name Miguel instead of oh Michelle. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I was Unfortunately, I, I, heard I, it. I, heard that I criticized <laughs> it uh, and he felt he was upset with me. Oh. Which I really feel bad about because he's such, like I said, he's such, such a good guy. But um, <laughs> yeah, that was on the so rooftop troubles. of a building in Los Angeles. The Standard Hotel, right? Build. Okay. I don't Isn't remember it? it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But, wow. yeah. Somebody jumped in the pool. Remember that? <laughs> I'm sure See, a video like, why aren't our parties like this anymore, you guys? Like, I know. You know. This is why I need to get out in the world so I can go to a rooftop <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, and that's a safer place to be, too. Uh, it's open yeah, air see? still, so. That's right. <laughs> as, that's you. right. Fox, exactly. That's right. I'd like to go dancing, but I just, I know that Oof. I'm going to be, be a while, right? I mean, before you feel comfortable doing that. I know, yeah. I know.